What is going on everyone? I know it's been a while since we've came out with a video. A lot has happened in the past couple weeks, including me being sick for the last two of them. But I'm back now and uh, welcome to the channel for those of you new guys. Sorry for not putting out videos consistently, but you know, as life happens, you know, you gotta prioritize other things. But unfortunately, YouTube has been put on the back burner for the past couple of months. That will be changing though because I have a pretty big announcement. I know a lot of you guys have seen it coming and if you follow me on Instagram you pretty much have already seen it but as soon as we get home uh, I'll let you guys know what's up. I just met up with a local guy at a gas station to sell him my 350z exhaust. So I got the cash money here to get ready to spend on uh, basically what's going to be happening with this announcement. Here you have the good old 350Z in its 350Z glory. Be making an update video on everything that's been happening with it soon. But for the main purpose of this one, we're doing the Pro-Am guys. You've known this ever since I got the S13 that the whole point of getting it was to be able to have a chassis that I could compete in. And if you've been around for a while, you've known that it's pretty much been a mad rush to get the S13 up and running to be able to compete in the East 10 Drift Series. But with the powers that be, there was just so much that needed to be done in so little time, including getting new suspension on the car. Shout out BC Racing for the ER coilovers that I have now on it. I still have quite a few little things needed to be done. And I'll tell you right now, I kind of shot myself in the foot because I decided to rip out the stock harness that was inside to basically rewire everything. So I'm still going through the hassle of getting it all rewired. I had to put in a kill switch, which I was able to do without cutting into the hood, which I'm pretty happy about. And last but not least, well, not last but not least, because there still are a lot of other things, but another major thing I need to get done are the anti-intrusion bars. Now, as far as the Pro-Am series is concerned that I will be competing in, it's Midwest Drift Union or MDWU or MDU, I think for short. The event is being held up at Kill Care, Kill Car Raceway up in Xenia, Ohio, which just so happens to be close to some of my relatives. So family, if you're watching this, I'll be seeing you in September for the Pro-Am. The dates for it are September 6th, I believe. So that gives me a couple months to get the car finalized. And now that I'm basically done sidetracking myself with the Z pretty much in its final state, I can focus all of my time and energy onto getting this car done. I've talked to a couple of my friends and they're pretty much wired the same way as I am. They have one main project that they like to slack on while they acquire others that they'll finish up in a timely manner. And it just so happens that I approached it that way with the S13 thinking, oh, you know, I'll get it done. And then this thing came along and just screwed us all up. Hey, Nacho, you want to make an appearance in the video? No? Yes? Nah, uh, you're just hungry. But anyways, you guys know what is going on. I'm sorry for it being so sporadic with videos. And if I have any excuse, which I shouldn't really have any excuse, about three weeks ago, my grandfather had passed away, so I had to go out to Texas for the funeral service. And having to deal with that just kind of sidetracked me and everything, but you know, it's life. I didn't plan for this to be all that long of a video, just really a quick update. And part of me wants to address one topic with regards to the passing of my grandfather. I never took Spanish serious enough, and because my grandfather never spoke all that much English, I feel like I missed out on a lot of great stories that he could have told me if I really just took the time to learn that language. I took four years of it in high school. It was my first language growing up, but being that I was born in Kentucky, there were no preschools that, you know, offered Spanish or taught Spanish at all. So I lost what little progress I had made back then. I just kind of regret not taking you know, Spanish serious enough. Cause I never really had a full on conversation uh, with my grandfather. And you know, I can kick myself in the butt all day about it, but it is what it is now. And because for the later part of uh, his life, he ran a tire shop in his backyard. I'd like to think that uh, we will dedicate this year's Pro-Am to him. Although he would probably think it's stupid that I'm smoking through tires. He did know that drifting was a big part of my life, but I'd like to think that he's looking down on me and uh, wishing his best in terms of uh, all of the car stuff we do. And with that said, thank you guys for tuning in. We'll be a lot more consistent in the months to come as far as videos are concerned. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.
Peace.